Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're back at Chiba Hut on Rainbow and Sahara for another 420 celebration of all things cannabis. Hosted by comedian Kay Banks, with friend of the channel, Scotty Dub, actually running the show. The evening promised lots of fun. From local live music and a dunk tank, to beer pong, a weed pinata, and 420 sandwiches served on a free commemorative frisbee, this event had something for everyone. While any smoking or vaping had to take place out in the parking lot, the overall vibe was one of celebration and relaxation. So come on! This amazing sandwich chain is once again throwing a party, and you're all invited, and you've gotta love the party favors. This video is brought to you by Backblaze. We'll hear more about them later. For now, let's get on to today's video. I've done a separate review of this venue in the past, so feel free to check it out when you're done watching this video. While you're at it, feel free to subscribe, like, and share to help me grow the channel. Thanks! With most of the acts on the bill being Room 6 alumni, this was going to be a Room 6 reunion. Speaking of which, if you'd like to be on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, Hit me up using the Room 6 email link or the Room 6 social media link down in the description. That's also where you'll find ways to financially support the channel and what I do here. And it all goes back into the music community in some way. Appreciate you. Kicking things off was the Maybe Four, a band made up of four incredible former Room 6 guests in the form of Mandolin, Joey Hines, Russell Christian, and Chris Dunn. Each of these musicians are singer-songwriters in their own right, and when you combine their talents, you get the equivalent of four bands in one, with each of them taking a turn singing lead. It was a great way to start off this awesome night. Kicking things up a notch, Wheelchair Mosh Pit was up next. This pop-punk trio blends high-energy music with funny and clever lyrics, making them a popular draw on any show they're part of. Taking the torch lit by the maybe four and running with it, they definitely hyped up the crowd for the next act. That would be The Easy, whose island vibes chilled everyone out and fit in perfectly with the theme of the night. Originally hailing from the island of Maui, this group did a great job of fusing elements of reggae and other genres to keep the audience interested and grooving. Switching things up a bit was the next act, AJ Fosillo from the band Wyatt and the Ashes. While the next band set up on stage, everyone's attention pivoted 180 degrees to the sidewalk where AJ was putting on a clinic in how to captivate a crowd with no amplification or stage lights. His powerful set gave off an amazing underground punk show vibe, and it was so cool to feel his visceral energy in the raw. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. Making YouTube videos can be a little resource intensive. It seems like hardly a week goes by that I don't have my computer yelling at me about running out of space. Fortunately, I've got Backblaze. Whether you need to free up space on your hard drive or want to be able to retrieve something while on the go, Backblaze offers peace of mind for just $7 a month. They offer unlimited computer backups, which you can have access to anywhere with an internet connection. That's safe and encrypted. You can even restore old versions of files from up to 30 days ago. Just for watching this video and for being part of Room 6 and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get a 15-day free trial. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Thanks to Backblaze for being a sponsor, and let's get back to the show. Swinging things back to the stage, Detective Frog were up next. Appropriately playing stoner rock, this two-piece rock band were reminiscent of the White Stripes and the Black Keys. They also managed to create something that can only be called a sandwich show mosh pit. Easily amping up the crowd, they were a perfect act to follow AJ and set the stage nicely for the rest of the acts to come. Speaking of which, the next group to take the stage were Driftone. Specializing in what they call Cali Roots Reggae, this band set about mixing passionate guitar playing with some solid songwriting, creating a nice mix of music that was easy to listen to. With a mix of covers and originals, they would be a hard act to follow. Fortunately, the next act was Aubrey Digital. Aubrey's no stranger to performing at Chiba Hut and no stranger to standing out in a sea of musicians. Her music features nice technical guitar work and clever wordplay, and her stage presence is undeniable. Using a laptop to add backing tracks, the crowd was into her from the very beginning. Finishing things off was a flourish was Chalmer Harper and Chris Massa. 
Part of a larger band, these two performers closed out the evening with powerhouse vocals, interesting guitar solos, and an overall sense of positivity and motivation to send everyone home happy. Overall, 420 at Chiba Hut on Rainbow and Sahara was a party and a great concert full of old and new friends and a celebration that I'm glad I was able to experience firsthand. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you'll swing by Chiba Hut or Rainbow and Sahara if you're in the area to see a live show or any of their Chiba Huts. Their sandwiches are amazing. Also, I've put all the social media handles down in the description for every act I've talked about today. Um, yeah, other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you'd like to subscribe, it really does make a difference. Please click up here and don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified when uh, I post new stuff. And if you'd like to hear my own music, click over here. I hope you enjoy. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.